Welcome to AI Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Trump supporters target black voters with AI fakes. Is Nvidia the next Tesla, as investors move from chasing EV to AI? Germany's economic reckoning. Vietnam's AI prowess boosts precision medicine startups. HBO's path to streaming profit, sell to Netflix, slash marketing and crack down on sharing. Trump supporters target black voters with AI fakes. BBC. Supporters of former U.S. President Donald Trump have been creating and sharing AI-generated deepfake images of black voters to encourage African Americans to vote Republican, according to an investigation by BBC Panorama. The manipulated images, which portray black people as Trump supporters, are part of an emerging trend of disinformation ahead of the 2024 presidential election. Unlike in 2016, when foreign influence campaigns were found to be responsible for disinformation, the AI-generated images appear to have been created and shared by U.S. voters themselves. While there is no direct evidence linking the images to Trump's campaign, they are consistent with a strategic narrative aimed at portraying Trump as popular among the black community, according to Cliff Albright, co-founder of campaign group Black Voters Matter. Experts warn that disinformation tactics in the 2024 election could combine the efforts of foreign governments with homegrown disinformation, creating confusion and new opportunities for manipulation. Is Nvidia the next Tesla, as investors move from chasing EV to AI? South China Morning Post. Investors should be cautious about Nvidia as it reminds analysts of Tesla's meteoric rise before its fall, warns the South China Morning Post. Demand for electric vehicles is falling, growth for EV stocks is waning, and the market for Nvidia's chips is shrinking as competitors rush into the space. Nvidia's investors are betting on limitless growth but the news outlet warns investors that history has shown not all ventures will be good investments and that the winners need to be separated from the losers. Germany's economic reckoning. Foreign affairs. Germany needs to revitalize its economy and address its structural weaknesses in order to remain a global economic power and support the European Union, EU. The country's reliance on Russian energy and its failure to make critical investments and reforms have left it vulnerable to economic challenges and hindered its ability to respond to crises. Germany must focus on green industries and emerging technologies, direct resources towards decarbonization and digitalization, and implement migration policies that support economic growth. Additionally, Germany needs to coordinate closely with Brussels to ensure its economic agenda aligns with the EU's interests. Germany's recent economic challenges, including high energy prices, Chinese competition, and an assertive US industrial policy, have highlighted the need for revitalization. The loss of cheap Russian gas and the slow transition to renewable energy sources have undermined Germany's industrial model and raised concerns about industrial supply chains. Germany's economy has also been affected by labor shortages, transportation disruptions, and a lack of investment in digital technologies. The country's constitutional debt break further complicates its ability to restore economic fitness. To address these challenges, Germany must accelerate the green transition, invest in emerging technologies, and attract skilled immigrants. It should focus on industries that will help decarbonize the European economy and increase renewable energy production. Germany's engineering talent can be leveraged to be at the forefront of emerging technologies, and the country should collaborate with other EU member states to create joint ventures and develop new European businesses. Furthermore, Germany needs to advocate for legal avenues for skilled migration and emphasize the economic benefits of attracting knowledge workers from countries outside of Europe. Overall, Germany's economic revitalization is crucial for its own prosperity and for supporting the EU. By prioritizing green industries, embracing emerging technologies, attracting skilled immigrants, and eliminating bureaucratic obstacles, Germany can remain a global economic leader and anchor for the European single market. Vietnam's AI prowess boosts precision medicine startups. Nikkei Asia. Vietnam's precision medicine industry is attracting investment due to the country's rapid development in artificial intelligence, AI, and technology, according to a report by Deal Street Asia's Data Vantage. Health tech startups in the sector raised $580 million in 2023 from 60 deals, with Vietnam accounting for 3.9% of the investments. Precision medicine uses an individual's genetic profile to provide personalized treatments for diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and Alzheimer's. Companies such as Gene Solutions, which has performed over 350,000 genetic tests, and Genestory, which provides fast and comprehensive genetic testing services, have attracted significant investment. However, investors are wary of the limitations of the sector, including the lack of a regulatory framework for health tech startups.
The government has supported the industry through various initiatives and incentives, but further funding is required. HBO's path to streaming profit, sell to Netflix, slash marketing and crack down on sharing. Bloomberg. David Zoslov, head of Warner Brothers Discovery, has struggled to make the company profitable since taking over. In an attempt to boost the streaming service and make it profitable, Zoslov cut hundreds of millions of dollars from Max's marketing budget. However, this move did not impress investors, and shares in the company are down almost 24% this year. Zoslov also has billions of dollars of debt, which has limited his options when it comes to growing the business. India reverses AI stance, requires government approval for model launches. Yahoo! India has issued an advisory requiring technology firms to seek the government's permission before launching new AI models. Though the advisory is not legally binding, it asks companies to ensure their products are not biased or discriminatory, and that they do not threaten the integrity of the electoral process. The Ministry of Electronics and IT cites power granted to it through the IT Act, 2000 and IT Rules, 2021 as grounds for the advisory. The move has blindsided many industry executives, with many startups and venture capitalists believing the advisory will hinder India's ability to compete in the global race. Japan's Nikkei stock average tops 40,000 for first time. Nikkei Asia. Japan's Nikkei stock average has crossed the 40,000 mark during Monday's trading session, reaching a key milestone after hitting an all-time high for the first time in 34 years in February. The rally has been driven by foreign investors, lured by corporate governance reforms, a weak yen and the Nippon Individual Savings Account, NISA, a tax-deferred investment program aimed at small investors. Expectations of an AI boom are also boosting semiconductor-related stocks globally. European Telco's New Deal hopes face reality check. Reuters Breaking Views. CEOs of Deutsche Telekom, Telefonica, Orange and Vodafone have urged regulators at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona to help the telecoms industry with lighter regulation and cheaper spectrum in order to promote innovation. The industry has complained that the European Commission is too focused on the interests of consumers, making it reluctant to allow the number of operators in a country to shrink from four to three. The industry has also called for reform of the way governments sell spectrum to the highest bidder. What to expect at China's two sessions amid sagging economy, party drama. al -Khathera. China's two sessions have begun in Beijing, with the National People's Congress, NPC, and the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, CPPCC, meeting to discuss new laws, political appointments, and government work reports. This year's event is likely to be focused on the country's struggling economy, with Premier Li Chang expected to set an economic growth target of around 5% for 2024. The event will also be watched for key appointments, with 11 members of the NPC Standing Committee already having been removed over the past year. Apple's failed electric vehicle move shows arrogance remains its core competency. The Globe and Mail. Apple has abandoned its electric vehicle, EV, initiative after over a decade of development and billions of dollars of investment. The move demonstrates that it takes more than money and ambition to succeed in the fast-evolving EV market, even for a company like Apple. The tech giant faced a number of challenges, including underestimating the cost and complexity of the auto market and internal disputes over the direction of the EV program. Market changes also played a role, with early adopters becoming hesitant due to high prices and range anxiety. Kathy Wood's ARK Invest is selling Nvidia stock and buying this artificial intelligence, AI to stock. Yahoo! ARK Invest is selling down its position in Nvidia despite the fact that the graphics processing units made by the company are synonymous with AI infrastructure. This is because the stock has risen 236% in the past year, so ARC is taking profits and reinvesting capital into other AI companies. For instance, the firm bought shares of Pinterest throughout February, with the social media company now accounting for a little over 1% of ARC's $14 billion portfolio. Pinterest operates a social media platform that lets users explore and curate visual content to discover new products and ideas. Its monthly user base lags behind that of Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, but Pinterest still ranks among the 15 largest ad tech firms in the world. In the first quarter, Pinterest CEO Bill Reddy said the firm had moved to next-gen AI capabilities, enabling it to use recommender models that were 100x larger than before. French police test AI-powered security cameras ahead of Olympics. Telegraph. French police have deployed AI-powered cameras at two Depeche Mode concerts in Paris to test their use in security operations. The cameras, which analyze crowd movements and identify abnormal or dangerous activity, are being used to prepare for the Paris Olympics in five months. The AI has been trained to detect eight types of event, including traffic that goes against the flow, overcrowding, 
the presence of weapons and fire. The cameras do not use facial recognition technology, but privacy groups are concerned about the implications of increased surveillance and the potential for arbitrary arrests. Apple is right not to rush headlong into generative AI. Economist. Apple is facing challenges on multiple fronts, including antitrust scrutiny, competition from Asian rivals, and concerns about innovation and growth. The EU has demanded that Apple comply with new rules that breach the walled garden of its ecosystem while the U.S. Department of Justice is considering launching a case against the company. Meanwhile, Chinese firm Huawei is gaining market share, and there are concerns Apple is missing opportunities in the field of generative artificial intelligence, Gen AI. However, Apple has a history of taking its time to release products, using its competitors' mistakes to improve its own offerings. The company is also focusing on embedding Gen AI in its own devices, rather than running cloud computing platforms like Microsoft, Amazon, and Alphabet. Apple recently redirected its engineers from a 10-year car project towards Gen AI, and its Vision Pro Mixed Reality headset could play a key role in the company's Gen AI strategy. Despite the challenges, Apple is expected to continue innovating and leveraging its strong financial position to stay ahead of the competition. AI has come for music, but there's a great big C between people and algorithms. The Globe and Mail Generative artificial intelligence software is improving quickly and will likely be used by advertisers to create catchy jingles for commercials, according to Jimmy Lin, a professor and director at the University of Waterloo's Artificial Intelligence Institute. Lin said the technology is advancing at a fast pace and that music-generating AI tools could be available within months. However, Bob Hallett, a founding member of Newfoundland folk rock band Great Big C, said AI cannot compete with humans when it comes to creating music that connects with an audience. The computer just can't do that, Hallett said. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.